Welcome to Chaos and Cryptography. In this video, we'll see how to measure NPCR value between two cipher images produced by an encryption algorithm. The theoretical concepts of the NPCR is given in a previous video, the link of which is given in the description box below. First, we'll input the two cipher images, then we'll call the NPCR function to evaluate the NPCR values between these two cipher images. This is the coding to find the NPCR value. The function to find this value is given here, wherein first we calculate the sum of the pixel values between the two given images divided by height into width and to get its percentage, we multiply with 100. Now, what is the sum of the pixel value? This is the heart of this function, wherein we compare each and every pixel value between the two cipher images. If the pixel values are same, then we assign 0 to the matrix value, or else we assign 1 to the matrix. Finally, all the matrix values are summed up. Then, the summed up value is divided by the height and the width of the cipher image into 100. This is going to give us the NPCR value between the two cipher images. If we get a value greater than 99, then we can be assured that the encryption algorithm is sensitive to even one change in the pixel value of the input image. And therefore, we can conclude that it can withstand a differential attack. Now, let's check for these two images. Here we get a value of 99.4508. Therefore, we can conclude that the algorithm which produced these two cipher images can withstand the differential attack. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on chaos and cryptography.